Hello, I'm Renaud and I'm a product manager at Prismic. Uh, Prismic is the IDS AMS, so um, since I joined, I had the chance to work with a lot of developers that are building websites. And it's becoming clear for now quite some time that a technology like React or Vue that are component-centric are becoming the go-to solution to build websites, even though it was not meant to be that at the beginning. But this component approach like uh, gives a lot of flexibility to developers that adopted the technology, liked it, and just are using it on most of the projects that we are seeing uh, in our uh, user base. For quite some time now, at Prismic, we uh, chose to invest in components. Uh, so we've created a feature that is called Slice and that is becoming more and more popular. And we are still continuing to invest in this component-centric approach. And today, I will present a project that is called Slice Machine and that is uh, trying to improve the process of building websites with components. So let's jump right into it uh, so that I can uh, show you the project. So for this demo, I chose to have a simple Next application. So for for those that already built the Next application in the past, they might uh, recognize this screen that is like the hello world of a Next app. And uh, I will uh, type my Prismic Slice Machine command setup in order to launch a new Slice Machine project. What this command does is basically changing the configuration of my Next application. And um, and by linking it to a Prismic repository. So I will create a Prismic repo that is called Hello Jamstack. Tac. So it will link my next project to this Prismic repository and add uh, also two dependencies, two libraries to the project. Uh, one that is called the Slicen and that uh, I will describe a bit later. And another one that is um, a set of components, uh, pre-made components that are open source, responsive, that are accessible, and that we've built in partnership with Sarah Swedon. So now that the installation is done, I can just uh, open my project. Okay. And open the code of the page that you just saw. So as you can see, it's a basic uh, Next page, a basic Next template that is showing what we just saw in the screen. What I will do is just import uh, the new component that uh, the Slice Machine command added to the project. So import Slice Zone uh, from Vue uh, Slice Zone. Add it to the component for my template. And then I will just change quickly the template in order to add my slice on to the template. Now that it's done, I can launch again my project, open it. So it's now building. Again, for those who build the next project, you might uh, see, uh, you might know the screen. And uh, when it's built, uh, you can see now that I have a new component rendered in my page. It's the slice on and with basically an empty state uh, that uh, tell you that if you want to start rendering the component from the library that we imported, uh, you have to create a page on Prismic. So I will click this button that will redirect me to the Prismic repository. And now that I'm on the Prismic repository, I will be able to create a first page using those components. So I have a whole set of components here that we call Slice in Prismic that are linked to uh, one of the components that is available through the library that we imported from call to action to sliders to video, uh, video sliders. And I will select a call to action uh, component uh, to render in my page. Okay. Add some text, add a link in order to redirect to the Slice Machine website. 
and publish this document. As you can see, uh, the component is not yet rendered because I need to update my select zone accordingly to the change that I did. So I need to add a custom type and a UID to fetch the proper document in Prismic. So I will go to my slide zone, add the type, that will be page, and the UID that I will fetch from the Prismic repository, in that case, this one. I save, and then my page just re-rendered and is displaying properly the component that I chose, so the call to action component. I can choose to add another one and add some images, to, for example, to make it look good. I will now add also, for example, an FAQ component. Ask me anything. Same, add an optional image, I'll choose this one. Now I need a cut. Yes, clearly. I will copy paste it to show you how it looks. I just publish the document, refresh the screen, and now I can see my FAQ component that is rendering properly after my call to action banner. Okay, so now the question that you will ask is like, how do I custom those components? Uh, how do I customize those components in order to make them uh, mine um, or like to adapt to the design that I already have? So for that, we provide uh, CSS variables, but also um, a different set of props and options that you can use in order to basically customize those components to make them fit uh, the design that you are trying to build. But if uh, the components that we provide are not enough for you and you want to build your own, uh, we also provide a command. Oh, I will type just now. That is Prismic SM create slice. That will ask me well, to give a name to the component. So I will call it my new component. Ask me in which custom type I want to, uh, to to put it, so I would choose page. And I did two things. One thing is that it created a, slide, a slice folder with my new component in it, and some bootstrap code uh, to render the component. It just configured properly the slice zone in order to for, for, for the slice zone to understand that this new component also needs to be rendered when content is there in Prismic, and also added uh, in the content definition in the content model. A new, um, a new component that I can select as an editor to, uh, to, to, to use and to render in the page. So if I want to add between this call to action banner and this FAQ component, my new component that I just have here, I can select it now, select some text, and you know, just like conf, publish it. I need to restart my project. So now it's building, but you get the idea. My new component will just render properly between the call to action and the FAQ uh, component with text coming from Prismic and with the slice on understanding that uh, this component needs to be rendered when I choose uh, this slice in the Prismic interface. You can see it here. Since you have access to the code of this component, you can make it your own. So for example, changing the background, changing the color, uh, removing all the content that I don't want to keep only the content that is managed in Prismic, like this. And if I want to add new fields, uh, I can just uh, add it into the custom type builder. Uh, that is a tool that we provide and render it properly in the component. If you want to have an understanding on uh, which component your slice machine, uh, your slice zone is handling, uh, we also offer a command that is Prismic SMLS that will show you quickly like the fact that, for example, the slice zone in this project at the moment handles all the components coming from, coming from Vue Essential Slices, that is the library open source that we provide, and uh, the new component that I just created in the folder slice, that is my new component. So to recap, um, 
I just added the slice on into my template in, in Next. Uh, this slice on uh, understood that uh, it needs to fetch comp content from an open source library, but also a component that I created through the CLI. Um, and uh, and if you want to see more, uh, like we have a, a virtual booth that you can attend to. Uh, we will have Hugo and Arnaud that are uh, the main developers of the project that will be able to answer all your questions. We also talk tomorrow about uh, how to build website with components uh, in a round table. And if you want more information about the project, uh, you can both uh, go to our GitHub in order to contribute uh, into building new libraries for Gatsby, Next, or other library for Next uh, also. Or uh, go to the forum, uh, the Prismic forum, in order to fetch more information about the project. The project. Uh, but thank you, and uh, see you on the virtual booth.